Hi, my name is Christine, and I'm addicted to cats. Christine is 11 years old, and she wrote cats on her book. I don't know why everybody thinks I'm crazy that I'm addicted to cats, because I am a dog, but I'm just addicted. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. you got to understand, I'm not crazy. She was crazy. Everybody knew she was crazy. Even her mom did. Oh, um, hi. I'm, I'm, I'm Lenny, and I'm her mom, and, uh, it, her addiction sort of getting out of hand. It's, it's getting worse by the second, and I, um, don't really enjoy it. Uh, Lenny is 28 years old. She is the mom of this addiction it's totally getting out of hand. I don't know what to do about it. It was getting out of hand. Everyone agreed with her mother and her father. Hi, I'm Chad, and I'm my daughter's son. I mean, I'm my daughter's dad. And, um, yeah, this addiction sort of needs to stop. Our family is filled with dogs, and she's addicted to cats, which is really weird and as you can see her bedroom is only filled with a computer a couple chairs beds and she spent most of her money on cat posters everyone knew that she was crazy because she was addicted to cats even her friend rachel hi i'm rachel and i've been one of her friends for about 13 years no no not 13 years I've been a friend for about nine years, and um, the addiction only started, she said, when she was a baby, and I didn't trust her, but now, yeah, now I trust her. It's getting out of hand. Rachel is 11 years old, and she's a friend. Even her parents thought she was crazy. So did her other friend, Tucky. Um, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Um, I don't really think she should be addicted to cats because she is a dog, but she's just addicted to it. Even her bed doesn't have sheets because cats don't have sheets. That's exactly why she said it. Like, she's crazy. Ugh, someone stop her. It's creepy. And I'm a dog, so I don't really like it. Weird. Everyone knew it was weird. And her grandpa. Yeah, it's pretty weird what she, how she's like addicted to cats. I mean, I'm dog, and I uh, of course hate cats because dogs don't um, hate cats if you didn't know. But uh, that's weird, like too weird, like too weird. Everyone knew it was weird, and she was so addicted. It just got too out of hand. But let's start from the beginning. Hello? Is anybody home? Good, I can just play cat games. Everybody's not home. I go oh, just gonna admire this poster instead. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. It's definitely now getting out of hand. I don't really know what to do about it. I mean, I could guess let my dog and daughter be addicted to cats, but it's still a little strange. Just saying. Oh, this poster, it's, it's amazing. I just have to admire it. The big kitten's face is just like right in my face. It's like staring into my soul. I just, I just love it. Huh? Why am I addicted to cats? I Everybody knew she was crazy. Everybody. Um, I don't really enjoy the whole cat thing and all, but it, like, needs to stop, because, like, I'll tell you how I'm, like, not her friend anymore. Like, one night, my mom made me spend the night there. I don't know. She was, like, on a date or something. I don't really remember. And, of course, Rachel wasn't there, so crazy cat lady was there instead of Rachel. And I like Rachel more than her. Hey, like, you ready to party? Like, let's sleep.
used to sleep on the floor. You're so lucky. I had to sleep in a stupid bed. That's where my mom's at. Sleep in a stupid bed. <laughs> and this is weird. And then in the middle of the night, I had to go to the bathroom. So, like, I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and there was a crazy cat face. And I didn't like it. I had sunglasses and I screamed. <laughs> And I ran out the door and like I never came back to her. She's a heavy sleeper. Everybody knew that she was crazy. This cat loving girl has purred more than one million times a day. And she's collected over a million posters. But that's more than her room can fit. So, it's getting out of control, whatever you want to say. But it really is getting out of control. I didn't know it was going to be such a problem whenever I met her, but it was such a problem. And I really didn't like it because, um, yeah, it's gotten way out of hand. Her cat addiction, she just like purrs whenever I high five her. It's weird. Hey, high five. I think you got, you got the trophy for best science fair project. High five. Uh, is that what's that prayer noise? It isn't. Uh, okay. We need to go to the bathroom. That's so much fun. We need to go to the bathroom. Like, I'm not sure if she quite knows how to make the purr sound. Like, let me try. Yeah, it's really hard. Because we are dogs. I don't really know how she does it, but um, it sounds like farting, so, like, I don't really care about it. So, like, yeah. Everybody. The day that I finally left, started texting from the computer. No one's even my friend, so I might as well just, like, text from my computer. No, no one's texting. Ah! <laughs> Well, I am her dad, Chad, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I feel bad for her, like, yeah, really bad, because this is getting out of hand. One day, her mother sent me in so I could talk to her about her addiction, and I said, yeah, I should do that, because it needs to stop. Hey, honey, I'm just here to talk to you about your addiction, you know. My addiction doesn't need to stop, Daddy. You need to stop telling me what to do. What you need to do. And also what needs to stop. Honey, you, you don't understand. Look at your room. You spent all of your $3 million on cat posters. In bed. Barely any food. That. Your mother thinks it's getting out of hand. Oh, please, Dad. Don't you think you have any addiction? No. Normal people don't really have the weird addictions like this, honey. Well, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a pity party. <laughs> Everyone hates her. No one likes her. No one likes her at all. Well, one day I walked in to give her some food, and, well, just watch. I can't really explain it. He's rude, but weird at the same time. Like, oh, jeez. Here it goes. Play the clip. Honey, I have your food for today. Honey? Mom, where's the cat food? Uh, honey, cat food isn't good for you. You need nutritious stuff, like yogurt on top of lettuce. Doesn't that sound good? Honey, please tell me you're going to eat it. No, cat food, honey. Cat, cat food. Cat food. I don't need this nutritious yogurt on top of lettuce. Gross. I need cat food. Honey, you are a dog. You don't need cat food. And your grandpa's coming to dinner. Grandpa, 
Uh, how am I supposed to hide all these posters? He'll, he'll kill me. He hates cats. Hello, how are you? Oh my goodness. You love cats? Come on, man, you're a dog. How can you love cats so much when you are a dog? A dog, I tell you, a dog. Finally, everyone decided, well, to kick her out of the family. There's nothing else to do. She was eating all of her cat's food. Well, she didn't have a cat because she knew they were gonna, she was going to go crazy. So for her birthday, you know what she got. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Here's your present. And that's when the cat thing got out of control. I'm getting out of this house. I'm living with my cat. I'm living with my cat. Everything was so insane. Nope, she didn't even want to live in her house. So she moved out of town. Much better. Grumpy cat. I'm just gonna name it Grumpy Cat. And he's looking like most favorite star Grumpy Cat. So, Grumpy Cat. Hey, where are you going, Grumpy Cat? Grumpy Cat? Grumpy Cat, where are you going? You're walking in the middle of the street. Grumpy Cat! She got ran over by a car trying to go get her cat. It was so horrible. She needed to get to the hospital. She had a gaping hole in her head. Help, please. Someone bring me to a doctor. They rushed to a hospital, but she did not make it. Dun, 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 dun.